Hello, Mike from Music Shack with a guitar, funnily enough. Uh, this one is a Marlin Sidewinder, 1980s built Stratocaster type guitar, made in Korea. Um, they were with sort of way budget level, entry level guitars, but they gained a really good name for build quality and sound quality and had a, a decent set of pickups in them as well. So this one's an all black finished body, gloss finish, more than likely polyurethane finish. Um, bolt on neck with the Marlin plate on the back. Um, it has a tremolo, but it's not got a tremolo arm. I haven't bothered putting one on because it's not something I ever use. If you need one, you can get them pretty cheap online. Um, nice straight neck. Minimal fretware, 70% of the frets left, easily. Lock and nuts on the top, particularly useful if you're going to use the trim. Um, black Marlin Sidewinder headstock, it's in very, very good condition. Dock tuners and even a little Allen key holder on the back here. Uh, neck, as I said, it's bolt on, it's a fender style neck, so it's got this separate piece of wood through the middle here. Um, serial number K34 KT07. So it does say British Music Strings Wales. They were the company that dis I think distributed these, if not assembled, but they were built in Korea. And probably not much else to tell you about the cosmetics. Um, it has, in addition to the multi way switch that strats have, it's got an additional switch here which I forgot to read up on it. It's either a coil switch or it's a switch which engages probably the bridge pickup at the same time as the others, no matter what. If you like these guitars, you maybe know a little bit more about it than I do. I should have looked at it beforehand. It's had the usual um, service and maintenance that I do. So I've cleaned it up, uh, including a deep clean of the fretboard, which was lemon oil on the actual fingerboard itself. Uh, four zero grade wire wool and a fret guard to clean the the actual frets themselves which were a little bit aged and a little bit tarnished so they are now nice and shiny no damage on the frets no dings or lumps out of them um, no edge binding on this one it's just a straightforward fingerboard i believe yeah but it's in good condition no major dings it's got a few light cosmetic scratches and marks on the body but nothing enormous, nothing that would make you kind of step back in amazement. And it's a nice solid guitar without costing a huge amount of money. I've said this before on other videos, I'm, I'm not a gear snob. I believe everybody should be able to buy a guitar. And if what you're looking for is a, a well-built, it is fairly budget style guitar. It's not listed for a huge amount of money. This could be for you. Very versatile, lots and lots of sound options with the different switches. Um, and just a decent solid guitar. So without further ado, I'll plug it in and play it. Separate switch here. So there's an off or on the up position. There's it in the down position. So you can hear the subtle, you can hear the subtle difference it makes. So up. Down. Well, that's for the coil switch up. 
back down to the bridge pick up here. <laughs> when you crank that gain up again. Next switch position.
down to the bridge coil pickup now. So I've given you a run through the clean sounds, uh, the, the sort of versatility that we've got on that guitar with the extra switching, which gives you a combination that my brain is too slow to do to work out, thanks to the beer last night. It's a pretty solid guitar, it's nicely built, it's lasted well from, from the 80s to its current state, um, and I would quite happily use it as a performance guitar, or a practice guitar, or a backup, or a learning guitar, or just a decent electric for somebody who doesn't want to spend a fortune, you know. If you need any more information, just let me know. All the usual contact information's coming up now. Um, I'm happy to help out if you're, if you're genuinely interested. Okay, thank you, bye.